Give me that thing, Mom. Give me that thing. Les, I want you to come here and tell me something. I want you to tell me um, about what you had for lunch today. Do you remember? You don't remember? But I can tell you my birthday's next week. Is your birthday next week? My goodness, well how old will you be? Five. Wow. Well tell me something else. Um, do you like school? Yeah. You do? What's your Today my teacher said that, yesterday my teacher said that if I didn't cry today, she would give me a prize and I didn't cry and, they, and she got on it before I got on the bus. That's great. What was your prize? A smiley face and a sticker. Ooh. I mean a sucker. Ooh, well that sounds nice. Well, you're doing real good. Well, did you have corn on the cob today? Mm -mm. You didn't? No. Oh. What, did you have fish? Fish sandwich. Uh-huh. Fruit fries, ketchup. That's about all. Well, did you save your ketchup? No. You didn't leave your ketchup in your pocket? No. Not like you did last week. I, did, I didn't have any pockets. I was wearing a dress. Oh, okay. Well, well, it's probably a good idea you didn't save your ketchup anyway. Because it might get in the clothes and get washed. Get all over the clothes. Meredith, is this your friend? Yeah. I'm going to spend the and get a fish right. You're going to do what? I'm going to get a month for the fish right. No, we don't need to do that. We don't need to hunt a flashlight. Um, no, we we don't need to do that. Yeah, this is Little Miss Shine. Little Miss Shine just couldn't help it. Being shy, that is. She was terribly, desperately shy. She gets to go to a party. She was so shy at the first. Which is what they long in a little house, quite a long way from where you live. In fact, quite a long way from where anybody lives. Thimble Cottage. Little Miss Shy was so shy, she just couldn't bring herself to leave her little cottage. She never went shopping. The thought of walking into a shop and asking for something was absolutely terrifying. So she grew her own food in the garden of Thimble Cottage and lived a very quiet life. Very, 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 very quiet indeed. Bang, 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 bang. Little Miss Shy, who was having breakfast in the kitchen of Thimble Cottage, dove under the table in terror. But it was only the mailman knocking at the door. Anybody home, he calls. Little Miss Shy, under the table, put her hands over her ears and shut her eyes. Not there. She's not there. She must be out, thought the mailman to himself, and pushed a letter through the mail slot in the front door and walked away. Little Miss Shire waited and waited and waited until the sound of the steps. She on the table. Uh huh. She hid under the table. Then she waited some more. In fact, she spent most of that day under her kitchen table. It was dark by the time Little Miss Shire dared to come out. There it was on the floor, the very first letter she had gotten in her whole life. She opened it cautiously. It was from Mr. Funny. You are invited, said the letter, to a party, it went on. On Saturday, it said, at 3 o'clock. 